The start of the biggest Jewish holiday is next week, and many synagogues continue to adapt a year after in-person services for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur were canceled. News 8's Abby Alford reports from Congregation Bethel in La Jolla on how they plan to celebrate the High Holy Days for all comfort levels. For the first time in two years, Congregation Bethel is opening the Jacobs Family Community Hall for High Holy Days. But like many of us, they've had to adapt and offer other ways that people can honor and celebrate the Jewish New Year. Warming up for Rosh Hashanah, David Lipset sings an ancient Jewish prayer, asking God to treat us with righteousness and love and kindness. Congregation Bethel is preparing for the biggest Jewish holidays known as High Holy Days. Rosh Hashanah starts on Monday and goes until Wednesday, and Yom Kippur is on September 15th. We see the largest number of our members come together for these services on the new year. Senior Rabbi Ron Schulman whatever, says that when there was a spike there. in COVID cases, so they switched gears and did a survey to see how to accommodate all comfort levels to honor High Holy Days, which is a time for personal introspection, change, and growth for the new year. I do not know what to expect on Monday, and that's what's both a little nerve-wracking and very exciting. If you want to observe in person inside the community hall, you need proof of vaccination. The room seats 1,000 people, but now it will be at half capacity. We watch the room start to come together as crews straighten the chairs and measure each section three feet apart and place each prayer book on a seat and carefully lay the High Holy Days program on each book. Another way that you can celebrate is outside under a tent where you can watch the service on a big screen or you can stream from home or anywhere from any smart device. Really it was understanding how we could best be responsive to the needs of a community when they themselves won't actually know what they need or want until the holiday gets here. Rabbi Shalman says that no matter how you honor the holiday, you can find a way to self-reflect by taking a walk, having a few quiet moments to yourself, journaling or make amends with someone. My prayer this new year would be that, that really humanity will find its way toward a better year, toward better relationships, toward respect, toward dignity, toward goodness. Not only do they have this outdoor space, but they'll have another area for children. For the Congregation Bethel's High Holy Day schedule, go to CBS8.com and click on the help button.